episode 47, I think. Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to B-Tech Philosophers. Ah, <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. I thought this year would be different. I thought this year I'd get the title right. B-Tech Philosophers, episode 47. We're back in our in our spiritual home, Voxel uh, Recording Studio. Uh, we, we're supposed to do, um, you probably know this already if you listened to the last episode, we're supposed to do it at um, some studio in Hackney, but Elliot messed up. Um, what did you do, Elliot? Uh, tell us, tell the people who didn't listen to last week's episode. The, the, the studio was booked for 10.30 to 11.30. But it said 10.30 to 11.30. When would you assume that time is? Morning. Yeah. Yeah. They meant, they meant at night. They were, they were, Mike said that that time's for some Roadman podcast. <laughs> did you know the ones where they, the that's whole discussion session, is about the body count? <laughs> that's <laughs> that's you, that kind of podcast. Yeah, that's when you bring uh, herbs with you and start billing it. <laughs> <laughs> some guy, some guy in a belly in there because he can't be seen out, he can't be seen in these yeah, ends. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, it's cheaper travel. Yeah. <laughs> You're hearing the voice of Abs the Truth comedian, by the way. He's our special guest this week. Yep, first yep, Peter, yep. Our first guest of the year, man. Oh, uh, right, round so, of applause yeah. for Abs the Truth in yeah, the building, man. Well. How long have you been doing comedy up to truth, man, for our listeners um, who don't know you, bro? Do you know what? Because I've seen you, innit, from, mm. from my beginning days as well. So I started 2007. It was my first time ever. 2007? Yeah, getting on the mic. First time ever. But that's the first time. That's not like... That's me figuring out do I want to be a comedian. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. First time I've ever been on stage. Um, and then, obviously, it went well. Came back again. Uh, bombed. When, when, when did you come back? Within that week. Within, Within that, that week, week yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Came back, my face was shaking. You know how yeah. scary it is the first time. Face is shaking. I've taken bare shots. Yeah. Like trying to like bring the nerves down. Found out shots ain't my thing. Nah. Like, that doesn't bring the nerves down. It brings the mic down. It's yeah. Like the, mic, the mic was here. So yeah. I'm talking, no one can hear me. Yeah. And I'm just like, why? But you got confidence, but it's like it's Yeah, it's, kind of confidence. Yeah. And then yeah, and then I just took a break after that. Came back 2009, uh King's Head. Yeah. Back in the days, did that. That was my first gig, yeah. Yeah. Really? Um yeah, 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 yeah downstairs then, uh, at King's Head. King's Head, yeah, yeah. I, I think I did the upstairs, it's Angel. Angel, yeah. Angel. Yeah, Angel Comedy Club. Is it, what is it called? Camden's Head? Is yeah, the Camden's Head. Camden's Head. That's the one. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. upstairs bit. So I've done that uh, my second time, uh, third time, sorry. Went really well. And I was just kind of, I kept taking a break. You know, like you don't know if that's the thing you want to do for the rest of your life. So it's like you do a retail job. Yeah. You realize you hate retail. Mm. You're like, I need to get back to comedy. You seem like the type of guy who's had like a lot of hustles. Yeah, I've had a lot of jobs. A lot of hustles, man. I've had over 50 jobs since I was 16. 50 jobs, yeah, bro. Yeah, in retail, everything you can think of, charity. Top five, F. top five best, top five worst jobs of the 50. All right. All right, top five, yeah. I say this, this comes into the best and worst, yeah, mm -hmm. because it was just the most insane job ever. So I'll do number one. I'll start number one. I'll start number five, actually. Um, Worst job, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uniqlo. Uniqlo? Yeah. You see how everything is coloured? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's slavery. They put up slavery, <laughs> you know. That is not a job, bro. They got this whole martial arts thing. Like you got to put one hand here and one hand here and stand like this for the customer. You're like, bro, am I going to swipe them? <laughs> no, I'm just selling T-shirts, bro. If you do the colours wrong, they take it all out and shake it out. No. Start again. Yeah. You got a colour card on your... That's yeah, like some yard. Mr. Miyagi Bro, type. it's a muggage, fam. I'm telling you. I hate... I don't, I don't even shop at Uniqlo, no. <laughs> bro, I hate... I, if you see me, I wear solid colours, bro. I don't mess... I hate colours, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I hate colours. I see colour, fam. I see colour. Yeah, like Uniqlo, definitely my worst. Um... M&S, maybe M&S. Oh, M&S looks like a, looks you know what, like a fun yeah? place to work. It seems like a fun place here, yeah, bro. But like, I worked in the Marble Arch one year and all the managers were like behind walls. You wouldn't know where the offices are. So we just call them the wall people because they just come out these doors. Uh, can I come talk to you? Can I speak to you for a minute? Like, <laughs> no, I don't know. It's like you're two minutes late. Are we having a discussion about two minutes late? Mad. Like, and they never offered me the job at the end, at the end of the Christmas period. So I ended up just quitting. Halfway through a shit, I was like, oh, it's New Year's Eve, like, what am I doing? What like, am I doing? It? I need to leave. And they were like, oh, you need to write on paper. And I remember just pressing the receipt thing, ripping it, and writing, I quit. I was like, there you go, guys. It's like, bounce. Bam. <laughs> I've always wanted to quit like that. Just like, fuck. That, that, sounds, yeah. that didn't sound like they, yeah. they, they, that's why they didn't offer you the job. That's <laughs> quite self they Why didn't they offer me that job that I wrote? Go fuck yourselves. I don't want nah. your shitty job. Nah. Now, the that's not that badass. I quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You nah, nah, nah. people wankers, I quit. So why, didn't they, why didn't they want me back? Nah. Basically, they tell you before that period that you ain't getting the job. So they ain't no- But they, they still expect you to work it. Yeah, they still, they still expect you to work until January. Yeah. Until the Christmas period is done. So in your pigeonhole, there was no letter. But then you but missed out on the, on the pay from then to January then? No, 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 but I'm a hustler, boy. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't mind, bro. I've, my mum's got two jobs. I'm good, innit? Um, <laughs> <laughs> good, innit? 
heavy cruise, bro. Got, we got this. Isn't it? My mom's got this, bro. I live with my mom at the time, so she got this. It's cool. I ate her food, didn't it? Um, uh, what's Number it? Three. Fu- three. Are we on three? So we've done um, we've yeah, done yeah, Uniqlo, yeah, 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 yeah. M&S, the Wall People. Cool. Yeah, three. Um, I worked. All right, st- um, prep. Pret. Pret. Yeah, Pret looks oh, stressful. Pret, that's slavery. That's real slavery. That, that's sandwich slavery, bro. Bro. Sandwich slavery. I mean, you have to cut it perfect. And when you slice it, if it doesn't look how the, the card is, that sandwich is dead. I was broke, that broke, like dead. five years ago. And I got a job at Pret. Oh, and then I was oh. walking on, to my first day. And then I just walked back home. I said, like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I, I passed the trial, bro. and I'm on the way to the bus yeah, next nah, stop. Nah. And I'm like, I can't. I can't. I love, I love, I've done things like that. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah, yeah. when you find a thing you love yeah, it, yeah. and you want to do it, it's because I did. I remember I done. A, I, I did a, a couple of days on a building site for my mate one time. It <laughs> yeah. did well. So like a couple of months later, he was yeah. Like, oh, do you, do you want some more work? Yeah. And it was my mate. Like was my boss. Yeah. Oh, and I went. Right. And he's. Eight, he's, I'm 19, he's 19. He doesn't know how to fucking manage someone. I don't know uh, what I'm meant to yeah. be doing. Yeah. He's like, why can't you just do this correct? <laughs> and I just, then on the, on the train home, I went, bruv, just, I'm done, innit? Yeah. I ain't coming back in yeah. on the first day. You gotta have a certain level of self respect. Even your bank account's in super minus. Yeah, you gotta be like, yeah, yeah. what? Uh, I, I can't I do this. Care. What was it What was it that made you walk home? Do you know what? I'd done a trial there, do you know what I mean? And I was just like <laughs> making soup, and I was just like, I'm a, Go there and make soup for eight oh, hours. Oh, bro, making soup sounds like prison kitchen. It does. That's like the job. The Pret is like the best job if you've been in prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you've yeah. Got, you want the kitchen in prison. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but but in real life, you don't want to be in a Pret kitchen. Prison nah. person would be a great Pret because they'll keep the kitchen tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was apart. you in the back? Were, yeah, I was in the back. So it was bright lights. Bright lights. You know what time is outside though? No, 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 oh. no, no. No clock on the wall, like, oh. like a hey, casino. Oh, like it's a police cell. <laughs> Have you ever stayed in the police cell? And you're like, dude, I better turn light off. I need to sleep in here if I'm like. <laughs> no, I can't relate to that one. <laughs> like, I was with you. <laughs> Do you know what we're all like? Oh, yeah, that memories. The booking like... was actually for me. I'm the road man they booked it for. Um, Yeah, so. Pret was bad. Pret's the worst. Pret's the terrible. And I quit in the gangster way again. How'd you quit? I did like, bun you, I hate you. <laughs> in front of all the customers, like, I'm like, I hate you, I hate you, your breath stinks. And next one, you, you're my guy, you know, boy, you've been loved. <laughs> next one, you're, like, it was really no, bad, it was really no, bad. No, no care for the recommendation. <laughs> no care, bro. And then he gets home. You know the Why did I get the job? <laughs> <laughs> you know what the thing is, it? you know when you kill a show at a comedy, right? You kill a comedy set that you've yeah. got. And then you have to go back to the real world. Mm, like, yeah, of, like, yeah, back, yeah. you're like, man, I'm better than this, bro. Yeah. I'm oh. cutting sandwiches. I'm a funny guy. Like, Ooh, you know? that's not <laughs> yeah, that, is, that ego, that ego in you. You know when, you know, everyone loves the loves the idea of of struggle in an artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and they look back. I was listening to Rogan the other day, and he was he was really like making because I'm just you know we're just at the point now where we're starting to do well with yeah, stuff. Yeah. And it, it Are you it, guys yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, we can we can hire a podcast studio on a Monday. Like that's where we're at. <laughs> Yeah, nice and track suits. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, that my girlfriend bought me. <laughs> I've immediately spilt a too expensive coffee to afford. That's why my girlfriend has to buy me track suits because I buy dumb coffees on the way to yeah. a thing that don't pay. No, and, and they, they love that idea of struggle and stuff. But the minute you're doing bits of it, you're like, I'm, well, I remember one time, like it was during lockdown, yeah. I went and got a job for some guy. He, he, he used to do comedy. I'll, I'll, I'll say this now. He, he, I've never seen him do stand up, but I can tell you he's dog shit. Yeah. Because. <laughs> Because he started like he, he got me doing his paint and decorating work, yeah. And he started well, start talking about comedy and everything he was talking about was a geek he killed. Oh, he man. was always talking about oh, when comedy man. was going well and that do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I, I should know on a we've base. Flops. We, we've had yeah. some flops in yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, like, you know what I'm saying? You're bragging too hard. I know this. I know what a good gig is. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. need to tell yeah. I but I love a story where I turn up to a place and it, there was eight people and oh. three cats. Comedians just want to hear the pain. You don't want to hear the. You yeah. Know what I mean? like, yeah. I don't, yeah, just. And he's telling me about like all this stuff and, you know, because I've got these people, I'm talking to these people at Netflix and things like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Is, what? Have you emailed them that you're getting an account? <laughs> what do you yeah. mean you're nah, talking to Netflix? Field insight, bro. Yeah, man. I talk to Netflix, bro, about getting my money back. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can, half, yeah, you can yeah. half tell that conversation, be like, I've been talking to Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, man, you must have big things. No, I've been trying to get uh, refund. I mean, yeah. anyone can email Netflix. <laughs> you know I'm I mean, getting an email tw- back. I've been tweeting their customer <laughs> service. It <laughs> means nothing. So, do you want to get to the first? So, this is my yeah. first. I think you got number two. You got two more to go. No, I did them. I did them. Um, you done um, uh, Pret. You done um, Uniqlo. M&S. Uniqlo. M&S. M&S. Yeah. Yeah, so two more. Oh, I hope oh, you're not so working the tills, no, bro. Right, these these numbers. Right, <laughs> right, this is too much. Uh, I'm going to give up now. I'm joking. Um, now you can go straight to number um, one. I'll, I'll go straight to number one because number one is actually the worst and the, and the, and the best. Mm-hmm. 
So I used to work at Eminem World, yeah? <laughs> no way! So give it a minute, give it a minute. No you probably, way! You're probably gonna know. Bro, you've got you probably to gonna know what I did. You're probably, you're probably gonna know what I did. You're probably, you're probably gonna know what I did, yeah? So I, I worked the at the M&M. store. Go fuck yourself, I worked bro. at the store. I worked at the store before it opened, as it was opening. Okay. So we was, we was you the first. the first. You the first. It was 2009, I think. You the pilgrims. I was living in the hospital yeah. at the time. So <laughs> I've applied to be a cashier, yeah? And they've told me there's no job as a cashier. It's done. Mm-hmm. They said, well, we like you, though. Mm-hmm. Would you be interested in being one of the M&M's? What do they like? <laughs> 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 I've told no one this story. I've had my best mates. My best mates come in the store. I'm in the costume. They have no idea it's me. And I'm like laughing. Bust, bust my face. It's in the eggshell. So I'm older. when he offered me the job, I was like, well, hold on. You can see my face. Like, no, no, you're in the eggshell. No one knows it's you. I was like, yeah, I'll when, do the job. They have to preface the job. Like, 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 they're trying to, like you're some girl and they're trying to get you into porn. Like, We're going to cut out your face. No one will know. You haven't oh. got any tattoos, have you, that can be yeah. distinguished? Well, we had we had these like oh, these like gosh. fake clothing like big gloves big boots and like these little trousers you, oh. couldn't, you couldn't tell mummy why is the yellow and the blue one 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 was cool the yellow one was dumb in it like you don't want to be the dumb one i was the cool one i was always building it <laughs> building it like these kids look dumb <laughs> what are you want a picture uh, Come here, uh, got, got roach. <laughs> Been it all the time, bro. I, some one time, yeah. I mean, this, I, I'm not gonna tell this proper story because I could still go to prison for this story. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> bro, this podcast every <laughs> every now and then we have a guest on where where there's like a statue of limitations yeah. on when I can this put the episode like, out. Probably not gonna say this story properly, but I'll I'll change names. I'll fabricate really. a little bit, yeah. Uh, so allegedly, yeah. <laughs> so allegedly. Um, so basically, as an Eminem, you have a buddy with you, right? You got yeah. a buddy. That buddy's there, meant, the men to watch your back. They're meant to watch your Are back. Are they also an Eminem? No, no, no. Normal outfit. Okay. The security radio. Okay. Linked. So you're ready. Are to people like fucking up Eminem sometimes? Sometimes. Bro. Okay. And yeah. I used to do it as a kid. Yeah. I used to fuck up other people <laughs> in costumes. So I get it. Yeah, I get yeah. the fun. But when you're in Eminem costume, by the way, let me paint the picture of the inside of Eminem costume. There's, uh, it's all metal bars, construction bars, holding up this shell, right? So you got metal bars. If someone knocks you out, but someone pushes you, the bar's breaking off. Oh. Then you also have a fan, a little fan in there to keep you cool in it. But it's like an old woman blowing. Like, it's like that. <laughs> like you don't even feel that anymore. It's more irritating. How, lo- like. how long are you in it for? So you're in it for like about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. 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 No, no, but it's, it's pretty bad. It's <laughs> <That's laughs> a prison. You're in prison <laughs> for a shift. So, yeah, so... You've got to have someone watching <laughs> you. Got, you got your buddy there. The buddies, I'm a, I'm a real... When I was a buddy, I'm a real buddy. Like, I'll watch your back in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if anyone whispers anything, bro, I'll fight a man for you. That's, that's how it's just kids though it's kids nah, bro. Nah, nah it's not just kids it's drunk people we're in Leicester Square yeah, yeah. So we're, 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 and we close at midnight uh, uh, the M&M's uh, stop coming out at like 9pm for their safety I mean, that, <laughs> that is like no because we're going to melt but we might get rushed right <laughs> M&M's don't melt by the way they don't melt their shell's made so they don't just melt 8. <laughs> just 8.59 yeah so you got to leg it bro you can't <laughs> <laughs> get back! Get back! <laughs> so, so, so we got some lad from Leeds <laughs> trying to mount you. <laughs> trying to mount the green M&M. Someone tried to milk me once, bro. Come on, man. This is, this is savage. Stop doing that. I've even had like a kid stare at me. Sometimes the mouth is like damaged. Uh, yeah. I had, you can't talk. We're not allowed to talk. Because the M&Ms have their own characters. You can't ruin their characters. Like, <laughs> in America, why are you not laughing? This is a true story, bro. <laughs> in a, this is true. Don't ruin the, 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 the innocence. You can't. In America, of a peanut coated chocolate yes, sweet. In, in America, they each have famous actors voicing them. So yeah. the blue one is voiced by Tom Hanks. Oh. You know, so I don't know who the others are, but I remember the blue one being voiced by Tom Hanks. So, <coughs> so they're like p- uh, proper, like, you know, images of oh. blue Eminem. You can't ruin it. You can't yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. And I remember I had these kids staring at me once, bro, just like that, through the mouth in it. And I'm like, made eye contact. I'm like, oh, shit. It's like, what do you expect, bro? I'm chocolate inside. Like, <laughs> he's just like, he's just like, try to put his hand in my mouth. I'm like, mm, like the buddy, like, is not helping us out here. Like, dude, someone's trying to put their hand in my mouth. Like, I've got prison for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. move this kid's mouth. It moves this kid's hand, sorry. But um, we did this thing once where, um, yeah, so I got the buddy in that. Long story short, I got the buddy, and I, I, overheard the, I overheard the kid whisper to his friend saying he's going to rush me, right? And I'm looking at the buddy, like, going, did you just hear that? But I can't speak. Like, did you just hear that? <laughs> and he's like, oh, you want to take a picture with him? I'm like, no, no, this kid's going to rush me, right? So long story short, he's tried to come and rush me. Yeah. Right, I've managed to, like, pick up a golf ball, yeah, with the three hands that I have, three fingers i got. Where'd you find on a the golf glove. ball, bro? Oh, they got, everything's got Eminem face on it. 
everything. We've got cups with M&M faces in it. Golf balls. There's sections. Orange golf balls, green golf balls, red ones, blue ones. Well, I'm just imagining you. It's like in Pulp Fiction when Bruce Willis <laughs> picks, up the, <laughs> picks up the chainsaw and puts it back, but just all with M&Ms on it. What, <laughs> what weapon am I going to use? I'm literally... <laughs> there's, a, there's, an M&M, there's an M&M getting gangbanged downstairs. <laughs> so you're about to go but to we save. used to get our M&Ms, bro. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. This kid, this kid really learned the lesson, bro. So I managed to just throw this, M- this uh, golf ball and he's licked the kid. <laughs> licked him, right? And he stopped him in his tracks. He's like, stopped and just looked at me. And I'm staring, and my buddy still has no idea what's going on because he's an idiot. So I'm staring at this kid like, shit, I'm going to prison. So I've just started running. <laughs> no one ever, I'm running to the back door. I'm, there's an Eminem blowing through the store. I'm running. Freaking up. My buddy's just running with me, laughing, doesn't know what's going on. Doesn't know he's like now part of this crime. I'm legging it. I've run back downstairs. Got changed into a different Eminem, like no one can see this. But like, come back out. Not just your street clothes. Like, would that be a bad disguise? <laughs> there, there, no, there was no logic. There was no logic in this. There was no logic in it. There was no logic in it whatsoever. Like in GTA, when you take the car in a paint and spray to lose the cops. Come out, it comes out, out, as, it comes out as a purple Eminem. The cops have no idea. <laughs> So I came out as a different <laughs> Eminem. It was the dumbest thing ever. Don't worry. You can laugh now. I mean, I was pretty, I was pretty traumatized in terms oh, of like not knowing how to deal with this kid. Yeah. So I've come back. I've come back out as a yellow Eminem, and I've come out to the basement. The kid's coming down the stairs, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm just staring at him like, and this kid would not look at me. He he didn't know it was me, but he wouldn't look at the Eminem again. And what I wanted to do was just go back in and change again as a green one, and come back out as the girl and like grab him. You jerk. And then go back, go back as the orange, orange one. Come back out again. And, Oh, don't mess with us again. Did, they, did, the did you get thing. in any trouble at all? No, the kid's not a snitch, bro. He's a G. You get he me? Took it, <laughs> took the golf ball. He took it, bro. If you're going to attack me and I attack you first, you got to handle uh, fair, that. Yeah, you I mean, fair enough. you got to handle that. Because Eminem, like, like you're saying, like, Leicester Square, for people who like, don't live in it or don't even go up London, like, Leicester Square, it, it's a fun bit of the city. Like, it's cool to yeah. be around. But yeah. you get everyone from London goes there, including everyone Every- you don't Everybody. want. Like, you, you'll be in Leicester Square one night and then all of a sudden you'll just see, like, nine roadmen walking yeah. through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, yeah. And, uh, and then there's just some guy doing break dancing yeah. and yeah. Japanese yeah. tourists watching. Like, there's no... Well, the worst bit of the Eminem thing, what I left out was... Um, so, at every hour of the hour, so 12, 1, 2, up until 8, as there'll be a sound, right? They'll play a sound. So it's, you know DJ Casper, Judge a Slide. Yeah. Yeah. So they'd start that intro and with with Eminem, <laughs> up, you'd have to run to the stairs and then we do the Judge a Slide. So we do the song. <laughs> and at the time I never knew the dance, right? But the guys I was with did. It's in so the song, the instructions yeah, are in the song. I don't know what that means. It was Chris Cross, I don't know what that means, bro. So they've had to take me backstage first and show me the dance. <laughs> they've had to be like, this is how you do it, this is the Chris Cross. This is the slide to the left, the slide to the right. I, I hate, I was hate it. it was it, was, it, was that so the much. pay at least okay? Was it was it... normal cashier pay, bro. Mm, bro. It was like 7 at the time, bro. 7 I was, I was living in a hostel as well, and I'm on Universal Credit, so I'm like, I'm done with Universal Credit. I want to work, I want to go on holiday. I'm coming, I'm doing the full-time job. So I end up doing that. But yeah, that was like one of, the, one of the most fun jobs, one of the most worst jobs. So in the costume, when I'm dancing, I am laughing, yeah, like yeah, crying enjoy. with laughter. Yeah. Like I'm like, oh, I'm so thankful no one can see me. That's what I was saying yeah. every time. At the same time, when you finish that dance, you just go and chill in the back room. You don't have to know, sell no chocolates or nothing, boy. You just chill in the back, wait, oh, guys, should we go back out? Yeah, let's go back out. We go back out and do another dance and just get well, back I love the, the idea that, that you, people walk around the back of Eminem world like around the, that bit of Chinatown yeah. where it would be and there's like a couple of Eminem's having a cigarette. <laughs> you know, you got <laughs> them chefs just smoking cigarettes as well. Like, <sighs> and it's the Eminem smoking with the Eminem. We can't smoke because you'll melt, but we were drinking. We were very alcoholic, serious uh, alcoholics. Were you not drinking? Or? No, no. Right, I was going. <laughs> we were kids, didn't they? But they did no DBS check, which it's I thought not... was very suspect. Yeah. No DB, fucking hell. What, no what year was this though? This was 2009. Whoa, different times, bro. The, the DBS check should have been a standard. Do you know what, though? I understand like why people are like, fuck, I'm going to just stay on universal credit, bro. Because some of these jobs out here, bro, like, yeah, man. I, I get it, man. It's just easy to take the money and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think most people would. I'm a hustler anyway. So, I, I, you know, I run a catering company and, you know, these, these man, are the yeah. things I do myself now. So I don't even, universal credit is there for me mm. to make sure whatever I'm doing, the, like the, the comedy and the, and the catering, whatever mm. I'm doing with that, that's running. Yeah. If you're still doing that, yeah. we'll give you the money for it. They know what I do. Yeah. They support me fully. They give, they'll give man funds like, well, you need to get to this show. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's not like I'm on it and I'm just taking the piss. Yeah. I'm, I'm on it, but I don't want to be on it. You I know think, what I'm saying? No, no one can demonize. Like, I, I, I took it. I had to take it during yeah. that, that lockdown. And you know, every payment furlough. from a show is a, is a how do we say, is a, is a donation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
every booking from catering is not a booking, it's a donation. So, oh, so I'm not getting any money from this. You're, you're a registered charity. You never spend it. Yeah. <laughs> but it is what it is. It's, like, Come on, you know, it's been here 15 minutes and you've admitted to four crimes. <laughs> <laughs> it is tough. Producer, yeah, we won't clip, we won't clip that by the, 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 the end of the podcast, it's going to be like, yeah, here's where Madeline is. I know, I know. I was a tour guide through Portugal one time. She was going to rush me. She was going to rush me. I'm actually getting a lift home to Brixton Police Station. So, <laughs> so you brought, yeah, you so. brought a hot sauce. Yeah. I mean, when, when I was texting you today, is you said I brought hot sauce. And I was like, I don't think you know what a podcast is. Yeah, so you, I was like, you, why you might have thought, like, why? Because I'm black, you're bringing hot sauce. Like, yeah, yeah. Stereotype yeah. is this. But, uh, yeah, that's exactly what I ran with. Um, <laughs> no, this Fire, is a, Firestar. This is a, yeah, this is my hot sauce. It's called Firestar. Um, what made you get in the hot sauce game? Do you know what? So I do the catering, and mainly with the catering, a lot of my food is barbecue food. I that's love right. barbecue. So, like, slow ribs, slow uh, cooked ribs, and. Um, Pork bellies and, and wings and burgers. That's oh, the sort shit. of things I love. So every, my boys, my people that know me, every time it's my birthday or someone's birthday, I'll have a barbecue at the yard, innit? Mm. We have a barbecue. Mm. And I'll, and I'll, and my, one of my signature um, sauces is a chili jam sauce, which everyone loves because it's quite sweet mm. and it's, it's got a little spice to it. Um, but I've also been in love with, like, I used to work at one restaurant. I'm not going to big them up because they're dickheads. Um, so I, I used to work with them, yeah, and they used to have... You know what? There's a common denominator in all these stories. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the dickhead, yeah? They're not the dickhead. Listen, they think man's a dickhead. You know, you know what is, yeah? It's because I get a lot of these jobs. They'll be like, they'll nickname me, mad names. Like, I'll start the job and they'll be like, oh, trouble. <laughs> yeah, you, you've had it, bro. I know you've had it. What did you do? That's just you know, an old white no, lady yeah, trying to be nice. Like, nah, or, like, or like they describe me and go, you're very fiery. You know, you're very outgoing. I'm like, you know, you know. Fuck you're off, calling, Doris. You're calling me aggressive, isn't it? That's what you're calling me like. Yeah. And these times I'm choking someone out at this point. But, but that's not the point. What I'm trying to say is, I ain't that. Yeah, I'm sensitive. Oh, God. <laughs> no, do you know what? Do you know what? Uh, uh, this, the, do you know what this episode of this podcast is like? It's like being back at school because I was bottom set, innit? And you know when you're in bottom set and you're like just trying to make your way out and then you're sat next to a kid like who's, who's like, who's, who's ruining bottom set? Like just letting off fireworks I wasn't shit. in bottom set, by the way, yeah? like, no, but The tests were wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but you're there, I'm there because I'm dumb. You're there because you, you can't sit still. You ever, yeah. been, you ever been in bottom set had that realisation? I need to fix up, you yeah. know? You see the kids around you. Yeah. I was in a maths, My mum's right. I, I need to. Maths, bro. I was in a maths, so I was in trouble. Where they put me in a maths bottom set. Didn't oh, even let nice. me do the bottom, test. Yeah. It was like maths bottom set. I remember being with them. Their teacher is a PE teacher, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't even got a spare maths teacher, bro, for them. Bro. Just to help them get out of bottom no. set. They're going stuck. bottom set is like going prison and realizing I don't belong here. Like, <laughs> these are real criminals, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, you got your hands up all the time. Like, can you put your hands up? Can you put your hands down? It's not for you, it's for them. Just like, have your hand in someone's pocket as you're walking around from class to class with protection. <laughs> bro, proper retarded, bro. I like, know, shit. Yeah, probably get uh, that, that, we, we say retarded. Oh, okay, cool. Time, like, you know, when they're just like, man, you are dumb. Chat and whisper in the air, nine, they're coming up at <laughs> seven. I said nine. <laughs> well, there was um, I, 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 the first secretary school I went to, I, it was in Croydon, yeah, it was called Ashburton. Can we, could, could we look this up? Could you just look this up? Could you type in South London School Riot? Is it secondary school? Yeah, yeah. Oh, South, okay. South London School Riot. Could you type in, uh, what is it? The South London Press School Riot. Um, the school had a fucking riot, nice, like an actual <laughs> riot, and um, I love a good riot. And there was, the, yeah, and but uh, part way through the year, innit, it, just teachers just started quitting. Just teachers just stopped, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. just stopped going, yeah, co coming into work. So, like in London, for some reason, you'd always get uh, Australian substitute teachers. Okay, they'd come yeah. over from so they'd live in like Shepherd's Bush, yeah, and they would they'd just be secondary school teachers. Bro, one day, yeah, these year 11s came into my class, made the fucking substitute Australian leave, lined the, all, separated the boys and the girls. We're in year seven, innit? Separated the boys and girls like some massacre in Kosovo, innit? Yeah, like, yeah. took all the men fit for work and fucking <laughs> executed them. Like, like there's some <laughs> Serbian regime and just started launching chairs at us. But they separated the boys from the girls. At least they're like, respectful. Like, do you know what? That's like some Peaky Blinders. Yeah, no, we got respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was um, just come in, started dashing chairs, and I, and they fucked us up. And we went and told my form to teacher. My form teacher was like, Ah, well, you know, <laughs> just, just, just this school, just nobody gave a shit. No one cares. So, so they had a gym in it, and it was on a balcony. And one time, someone just got one of the treadmills and launched it off the balcony. Just launched it off. There, there was these three balconies here. You'd walk under it while you're changing class. Bro, these balconies, you 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 learn, innit? Don't walk out in the open. Like, you've got to stay under Don't the balcony. Don't walk out in the Don't open. Don't walk out in the open, but it's like snipers. Like, you'll get spat on, you'll get drinks thrown on you. 
chaos. Did you find it? Just go on image. What's the, what's the school called? Uh, Ashburton. It was called Ashburton. Uh, no, but yeah, we made the front page of the South London press. Nice, and you're not even in South London. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. How did Quaden do it? Bro, that's cool. <laughs> that's big. <laughs> yeah, but I was in bottom set. In that, I remember. <laughs> no, I was in third set, and then when I like from there to another place, I, bro, I remember being bottom set maths. Yeah, that was the worst. Do you know what though? Like they don't I, teach I, that, that Tory policy where they like they want to increase maths to eighteen, like. I'm not against it though. I am. Yeah, but well, you know there's something sinister behind it. You know there's yeah, Tories don't care but about us. Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing, here's the thing that I'll say. That's probably got to pay us yeah. yeah, but here's the, yeah, here's the thing that's the problem with education is you'd have like kids like you, yourself. You, so you bring this in. You're creative. You're a creative individuals. So the minute you're put into a workplace and are told follow this, 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 yeah. and this, it's never gonna work. Like your mind doesn't work yeah, like yeah. that. It, it. Do you know what I mean? That's why you could come sit on a podcast and make people laugh. But then the minute it's like. Dress up as the fucking Eminem and f- learn the cha cha slide. <laughs> you don't want to do it, like. It's... But I think like it's, it's it's a basic skill, maths. So surely like if a, if a generation can get just a bit, couple more years of basics. You got an iPhone, man. What? Yeah. Do you, what, what, like at this point now, like remember they were like, oh, you're not gonna have a calculator on you all your life. I do. I can. Yeah. I can find do. out. I can find out the answer to any <laughs> equation on this. And and there's gonna be kid. Leave it for the kids who are interested in maths. Yeah. Mm. Give give kids up to about ten or eleven basic. maths. Mathematics plus minus divide. I said ten or eleven. You stop there. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what, what, what else are you? What else are you learning about it? But that's, it's, that's it's necessary. Like maths, maths, is, maths is based is logic. It's problem solving. So yeah. So you can even use it for creative stuff. There's like architects who need maths. There's yeah, but they're the, but, like that, they're, yeah, but, but that's if they decide to what they want to carry that on. Isn't it? I think mm. probably just leave it at sixteen. We do maths up until 16, don't we? Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we do up until did, 16. Did you? I don't even remember, <laughs> you know, bro. That's my herbs. Um, I, that's another crime, by the way. Yeah. Nah. CBD, that is. Uh, CBD. Uh, wink. Um, no. Um, the thing is with me, like, I, I yeah, I, I'm the same as him. I use my phone, bro. Yeah, like, but there like, is no, like, I don't even, I'm sure there is people that, you know, still use the maths and they're really good with it. But most of my friends around me, they're not dumb, they're intelligent people. They're just... Just like we just don't really need okay, it. Okay, but I, I hear a lot of people work. on on Twitter like, why didn't they teach us this in school? Why didn't they teach us that? And sometimes I'm like, I feel like they did, but that, you weren't listening. That's just taxes. They, they're talking about taxes. Yeah, they, they're talking they about taxes. taxes. No, taxes. And, 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 and also, lots of people do that for retweets and stuff. It's like when people yeah. tweet, "Who said this?" And you're like, if you uncropped yeah. the image of the tweet you stole, you would find yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's. Oh, I hate when people are like, "Why is nobody talking about this?" Well, then how did you find out yeah, about this? Yeah. Oh, about nobody was talking. Or this girl's missing. I bet you won't repost it. I don't know. Hang on, nothing to do with me, G. What did I make? I go missing. You always use an example where we're like, ah, no, we we were with you, but then (laughs) I'm with him. I don't, I don't know her. (laughs) What? So much happened with you the other day. It's like you can repost her. She's missing. (laughs) Ain't gonna help. Fuck your cousin who's, 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 you know what I mean? Who who left, who left the prison? They'll find him in a river in a few days, bro. None of my followers, none of my followers are the flow in the river of your drunk moron cousin who fell in it. I got four thousand of scummiest followers, bro. They don't know her. This is this is bad, but <laughs> sometimes I'll see the poster and the some posters, and I'll be like, "You've been have that same person been missing for 10, 15 years." Yeah, they probably gone update now. Update the poster, like, like with what? That's sick. With that's somebody sick. new? Oh, that's sick. With what, what the new photos that's they're posting? Like, like, <laughs> what, what, they're no, like, they're I haven't missing. seen them in ten years. I don't know what they look like anymore. Again, but then that's Last time what, I saw you, them, they were this. You're showing me a picture of he's ten. He's twenty five now. Do you know bro? what? Like, There's AI now, so you can usually you can really update it. Well, they haven't, bro. But um, that's sick, by the way. Is, what I said was actually no. Better. Yours is bad. Too. My thing was better. <laughs> that was Instagram bullying. That's what that is pushing you to repost but, someone missing. That's that's bullying. That's bullying. That's bullying. <laughs> Remember those ones? We used to be like, oh, send this, uh, send this twenty five people, or Jesus won't love you. Like it's like that sort of thing, bro. Yeah. It's like, why are you making me feel guilty for? I, I was, like, how does nah, God the know? biggest one was Coney twenty twelve. Oh that was my god! Scam, I saw about this the other day. That's funny. Bro, that was, funny. That was huge. That was I, 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 I fucking got my dad to donate for. It. <laughs> I bought him my BBM. Free Coney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a free Coney. <laughs> but guys that done nothing wrong. School. That was the old school times. Whoever he was, whoever he was, some white guy had us all fooled. Didn't oh, he? that yeah. was that first like, fight. And then he, st- then he started, he went, not, remember, it was like for like two weeks, it was massive. And then all of a sudden, like a month later, this is why you can't come famous too quickly. Yeah. yeah. Then he was caught wanking in the middle of the street. Because it's the same with like Paddy Pimlet, like even like, 
I know he's in trouble. Andrew Paddy Tate. Pimley, what happened to him? Bro, Paddy Pimlet's now, he's he's so famous, yeah, that he started, he's just started doing like interviews with Dana White and stuff like that at the UFC. Yeah, and, watch him, and, yeah I've watched a few of his fights. And then he's like a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, he sounds fuck. And then he he started, uh, people in like the MMA community, he's like scouts fuck the Tories, but he sat there with Dana White, who runs the UFC, and he's like bit in the UFC, they're okay. being criticized for fight to pay a lot. Yeah, so they're like, oh, he slapped you, his wife. Yeah, yeah, he slapped his wife. Like, he didn't know that at the time, to be fair yeah. to him. But, um, he slapped her back. He slapped, he slapped her back as well. You guys got to yeah. be careful with that one. Because yeah, yeah, I saw yeah, her yeah. slap him first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In I, public, like I a dickhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a dickhead on his face right I, there for that moment. I don't, I don't think the way he handled <laughs> it was that. correct. Yeah. But no. I also am like, well, if you're drinking at 3 a.m. and play yeah. with fire, you're going to get burnt. That shouldn't be happening in public. She shouldn't have slapped him anyway in public. That's a madness, bro. That's a pride. If you want to slap him, do it at home, innit? No, I'm saying like, not on a domestic thing, but I'm saying like, that that there wasn't it clearly didn't show that they beat each other up on the daily. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It was just a moment of my, but she shouldn't have taken it out on him in public. Knowing yeah. he's a public figure, she shouldn't have done that. That's a wrong in it. So yeah. so what we just did now and we just only highlighted what he did. That that was me. I was I was I was, know I was, I was for the press, bro. men's rights. She did him first. I, I, I apologize. You're not sorry. a menonist, bro. I apologize. Sorry, we're gonna ask Mike to step out for a minute. No, I'm we're gonna sorry. just take it over. <laughs> that one, that one, I'm sorry, Dana. We've, we've, had, we've, had, now. we've had the actual assault of a child on the show. <laughs> but right there. Back there, we draw the line. I never assaulted him. I defended myself. He was coming to rush me. He didn't actually do anything to He was you, coming though. at me. Like, coming, at me. coming at me. So what you're saying is I must wait for him to jump me, attack me, P p possibly break my nose. I think and you might have to, bro. Because you didn't. It's just the story of you throwing a golf ball. You could have. You could have. Right, you you, you could have like said to be fair. Like I, reckon I said, allegedly, and it's yeah, called yeah, allegedly. Yeah, happened. It didn't happen. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? We don't know yeah. what really happened. But yeah, so Paddy, <laughs> Paddy Pimler um, started doing it. He started going for like an MMA joke. Anyway, my point is, is basically like I think what happens is when you come famous really quickly, yeah. like massive, it. It, you, it's too. There's too yeah. much opinion. You haven't learned how to block it out yet. Yeah. So yeah. that even now, if like a Twitter go, uh, or like a video man goes about, yeah, there'll be some videos like where people agree with it too much. Yeah. And then some videos where everyone's like, "You're a fucking cunt," and you just kind of learn. <laughs> oh, I just don't respond to this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. just ignore it. Yeah. But it's I, happened a couple of times where we posted a couple of clips on B Tech and they've talked about us. But I kind of like look at it like. They're not even talking about me. I'm almost nice like, me. Out, yeah, 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 where they are. It's, it's you, but I'm, I kind of like view it like on the outside looking in. Like, oh, this is so weird. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of like a third person. These people don't, these people have no idea about you. Yeah, they're yeah. There yeah I'm, they're... I'm commenting dead. Like, I am literally dead to comments. Like, yeah, I, really? I, like I, I have this thing where I can scan a comment and see one hate word. I'm like, that's enough to block it. Like, I delete the occasion, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, it's gone yeah. to me. I oh, would never, good, good like, I might see. Monkey, but I might see Mun. I'm like, Mun, that sounds like Key. Oh, no. <laughs> gone, that's gone. You get me? That's gone off my thing. I never see that. I had one person, in fact, call me. So I, I made a joke about, you know, 4.1 billion people viewed uh, the Queen's funeral, uh, just Africa making sure she's dead. I wrote that, <laughs> you right? And then I started getting hate mail. Right, but one of them was like, "You spear chucker," right? <laughs> Which I find is the most funniest thing ever because you can't chuck a spear. School, you can't, I know, but you can't chuck well. a spear, bro. You're a spear thrower. <laughs> you can't <laughs> chuck a spear. That's, that's Bernard Manning's racism. Yeah. That's old school seventies. <laughs> no, no. But no, but this person you was so angry. You fucking golly, what a so, Oh my goodness! <laughs> this person was so angry because they would. They, there was no capital letters, no punctuation, no <laughs> nothing. It was just you spear chucker. Like, and I was like, and I wrote back to them, DM them privately, because yeah. I like to have fun with them. I'm like. Well, um, I, what's a spear chucker like? Do you, do you mean a spear thrower? Like, do you yeah. know, because if you chuck a spear, you can't actually get your get the hunt. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? It doesn't make any sense. But your opinion is so unique. I would love to get you on my podcast, isn't it? And he wrote back to me, "You slave!" Didn't it? Like, he just like he was he was spazzing out. It was like so much hate. He didn't he didn't know how to take the fact that I was so chilled. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, my plan was to get him and then rush him in it, but. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I know it's true. Yeah, we got, we got a time was, coming up if you want it. Russian. 11 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> till 12 11 p.m. 11 p.m. at London Podcast <laughs> Studios. But he called me, and then, uh, you know, like those, it, they don't get me mad because the thing is, right, I've, I've made a fake account once, right? It is long to do that. It's long, you have to have a fake email address, which is long to make as well. Then a fake Instagram, then you've got to remember that password, make sure it's not your other password. Bro, it's so long, yeah. Why did you make one? 
I don't know. I can't remember. All right, all right. Allegedly, I did a honey trap. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was stalking a chick. <laughs> you know, so much my DM. I wanted to see if she was still alive. No, she's uh, still alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, but I did it anyway. This doesn't matter why I did it. Right? Yeah. That's the point. The point is, right? It takes a long time to be a racist. Yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. It takes a long time to be a hidden racist. It's not easy. I've done it. No, I mean they've done it. Sorry, they've done it. No, what I'm saying is that. It, it's not easy to make this thing. So you're going out your way. That means I've angered you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even care about you. I don't even know who you are. Yeah. His name on the thing was Leon Baker. Like, I don't even care, bro. Like, you've gone out your way to try and offend me, and mm. it hasn't worked. And mm. it's actually made me laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spear chuckle, that's, that's funny as hell. Like, that's a funny joke. Um, you know, how you look at it, like, how you, you know. It's, maybe so, it... it's, so, it's so ridiculous. That, <laughs> like, you do have to take a bit of it away. From... Yeah, I don't want a person to have to go, no, that's awful. However, yeah. <laughs> you ever watch like The Sopranos and you see that old school Italian yeah, racism? Yeah. These cabronies. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is that even yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, like, <laughs> Jews. But think about it. It sounds too sexy to call yeah. a black man a spear yeah. foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah, get yeah, me yeah. like, we want some spear yeah. foot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can say it's so cool, but spear chucker sounds like, <laughs> like chuckling. What like do you think of them? Um, do you know how football games, right? When they got like chants about black players having big willies. What, what do you think of that? Is that is that racist? Because yeah, they, they're saying it good it natured. No, I know, but, but I think it is, it is racist. It's, yeah, it's yeah. like a fetish. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. some sort of fetish. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah. And by the way, not all of our dicks are big, innit? I mean, mine is, and his is. Yeah. Um, how do Whoa. I know? I can, <laughs> sen- I can sense it in the room. <laughs> find out why you got <laughs> Find out what that fake account was for. <laughs> <laughs> What's that hitting my leg? Man? I'm no, um, no, no. What I'm saying is like that. That that's annoying to even go by that because I've had it when I'm in a bar and that. Like, and a woman would just try and grab my dick, fam. Randomly, oh, just try and grab my dick. Just like try and grab yeah. my dick, and I'm like, "What the hell are you doing?" Yeah, you know, she's like, "Oh, I'm just playing." It's like, "No, you're not playing. Mad. You're going off this whole fetish thing that I've got this this fantasize that I, this fantasy sorry that I've got a big dick and you want to grab it or whatever. like you probably expect me to hold you in a chokehold and you know like all these fantasies that they go off by, but we're just normal black men mm. trying to live our lives with our normal sized dicks, bro. Yeah, man. Get me, man's got a normal dick by the way. When I watch porn, I type in normal sized dick porn. <laughs> I'm actually sick of being insecure, bro, yeah, yeah, and yeah. having a wank at the same time. It is hard, bro. Literally, my tears are like moist. In my <laughs> it used to be this big. <laughs> no, it is, yeah. It's horrible. I hate it, man. Because there's no um, chance it. about white players having big licks. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? How does that make you feel, bro? How does that make you feel, producer? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. This is what this podcast is after. Well, the actually, there, was, there, was that, there was that one with the white guy with the 13 inch. You remember that on Channel 4? Oh, a, there was a yeah, he's our hero, bro. I want, I want, I want the Churchill statue taken down and that guy put back up. The one white, the one white guy with the thirteen inch cock. Thirteen inch. No, but he said he hero. can't get a job because there'll be interviews. And <laughs> he's he can't got a boner. He's, <laughs> he's got a boner coming out. Oh my god, man! Like that is. <laughs> That Why a... are you getting a bone on the interview? <laughs> That's the least sexy And you're sitting down, bro. I was there oh even noticing God. <laughs> no, I think I was like, I don't know, it's, it's football chance. And it kind of brings us to our philosopher of the week this week because he's an ex-football hooligan. Okay. Um, that's fucking greatest video I've ever seen. We, we have this thing on our show called Philosopher of the Week. Okay, yeah. Uh, where we bring up someone who does some B-Tech philosophy. Okay, like. what's B-Tech? What's B-Tech? Who are we talking B-Tech? B-Tech is like... It's like the low end low, GCSE. Low, yeah, low end GCSEs. Yeah. 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 Well, like it's entry level. They keep going, it's equivalent to five GCSEs. Why is it not five GCSEs? Shut up. That's, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, that's this is equivalent it to is five. Actually, yeah. And you're like, but why? But you're saying equivalent. <laughs> like it's. Why is it not called that then, isn't it? I actually it, think like these days, really tech is better than in terms of trying to get a job. You know. yeah, if you want to get a practical job within yeah. like the labouring communities and like yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, building yeah, and sort of things like that, then yeah. Did you want to get one of three jobs, get a B tech. Did you have that at school? We had this every Tuesday, yeah. We'd we'd go off to do we're in year nine to do our, our B tech. Like you had to do a B tech yeah. in year nine. And they just divided it. So me, they were like going to this shitty drama class. Um the other kids, they were like some went to like a, a ga- they got like all the other fit kids and were like, All right, you you guys on into drama, so you're gonna go learn how to be a mechanic. <laughs> and, uh, all the other kids go they just killed that dream. Like, yeah, yeah you're not gonna be. But it was it was that weird bit of like English education where they like kind of gave us. They had to like they were treating you like shit, but they had to be like, hey, yeah. you're, all, you're all special, <laughs> but 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 special. but, but yeah. some of you, some no. of you, are more, yeah, we, we well we had that in school, but it was called gifted and talented. 
But that was like oh, the smart that people. That just sounds bro. like a church Ding. program. Bro. Yeah, yeah. The smartest yeah. people, bro. Five were, of them. Were you, were you in it? No. No, bro. No, I, used I, to get, I used to get so upset when every all the gifted and talented <laughs> kids got to go to this other... Also, it was they like, get to leave. They bro, get to leave the How site. demoralizing to the other know, students right? and the entire rest of the school. We're not bro. anything. We're just like <laughs> students. I, I, I always hear yeah, that K- Kerry Godleman, amazing comic, right? She runs a gig. Uh, at my old school because yeah. her, her daughter goes there, isn't it? And uh, I've all, I want her to ask me to do the gig so I can say no. <laughs> just, 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 I want to go, no, nah, and here's why. <laughs> and then it's all going to be they never put me in gifted and talented. I'm too big for them She's now. She's like, I just booked uh, this earlier. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. It's just a charity night for the PTA <laughs> as well. It's totally like, but yeah, can we get up um, uh, my guy, Philosopher of the Week? This, is, uh, this video went around a few weeks ago. And this is the best bit of BTEC philosophy I've yeah, ever so seen. Quite enjoying it. It, it. And it's exactly the kind of guy you'd get at like a football oh, game. Right. He's the fucking best, man. I've, I, if he's if he's ever able to come on the podcast, I'd love to have him here. Yo. It would be... I actually mean, don't know what's coming up. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued, bro. Yeah, bro. This is the... I might know him, innit? Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. That's me. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. Oh, are ah. you slacks? How are you? All getting ready for the big fat man to turn up, and I don't mean me in my old lollipop at the minute, and I have a little look there. Look, all oh, you're in just for the gear, look, all oh, you're in just for the gear. There is, we don't forget Lee Whitby. <laughs> we don't forget Lee Whitby. Hey, we don't mess about that's on this fair, that's so a, you know what I mean? No, he's anyway. still. Anyway. He is that a shot? To, is that his own Thailand, shot? In Thailand, it's covered in, if you're listening, it's covered in like Winston serious? Churchill pictures. Man's got Lee Whitby on the fridge. <laughs> on the bro, freezer, bro, bro. Imagine, bro. Uh, he starts the video with all right, you slags. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like, all right, you slags. <laughs> hey, we don't forget Lee Rigby oh, on wow. our phone. Ah. All right, you slags. <laughs> Justice for the 96. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you wow. slags. Hey, we're holding a minute silence for Grenfell. <laughs> like, he is so unbelievable. Expert, where is he? What country? He's, he's, he's in Thailand. Really coming over and like the bit of puff and all that. <laughs> This is after Lee Vigsby. Stand on me, it ain't. You watch the other people. They pull the handbrake on that. If you're for Lang, which is a foreigner, if you're, if you're, um, he's out of Having a puff and all that, <laughs> you'll get fined, mate. Get that brown envelope out. Don't worry about that. You can get your way out of it. Get hold of me. Don't worry. We've got the old bill boxed off over here. <laughs> but I'm telling you, be very, very careful. It's a grey area. Don't get it twisted. He's actually giving good they advice. Don't smoke weed in Thailand. Trust me, it ain't. Right? Trust me, it ain't. Anyway, listen. Have a good day. Pos- positive vibes. Yeah? The haters can keep hating. And the lovers, we love you back. All That's right? a bar. Take care. That's a Have bar. a fantastic day. May your toenails never grow inwards. And remember, there's six things I know in life. I can read, write, fuck, fart, push about, pull a cart. Whoosh. Oh, somebody needs to wipe his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I just love the idea. Like he's got like this, like Lee Rigby's family are gonna be like, oh, finally, thank you, people. Someone remembered him. Someone remembered him. Some guy who's 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 out doing sex tourism and wants to buy a cornetto from an English <laughs> shop can now get one out of the the, the freezer, memorizing. Our, those the, those killers went my uni, you know. Really? Yeah. And his name was Michael Were they in the gifted, and, ta- were they in a gifted and talented group? Do you know? <laughs> Because <laughs> well, if they were and I weren't putting gifted talent in. You're not making me tread on thin ice, you know. Right? I'm, like, I'm like, this is not... And I'm the worst of the worst. I'm like, this is not, this is not nice. Nah, nah. Bloody hell. That's man. horrible. Well, he went your uni? Yeah, man. Well, you I, did... I was like, because they went, like, when I was signing up to go to that uni that summer, so it was like, this summer I was going to that uni, and the killer's name was like Michael Adewale. Oh, oh, no. hell. That's your name, isn't it? Oh. My name's Odewale. <laughs> close <laughs> enough, bro. Close, oh, close oh, enough. Oh, no. I don't know. I was worried I had to go around. Yeah, I'm on parole. Like, uh, <laughs> and he's like, ain't you supposed to be in here? <laughs> and he's like, that's not me. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I bet, the, I bet the uni's never had more of a like, hey, how, how can we, how can we, <laughs> how can, you know, like the CIA, some files just have black lines yeah. going through where they don't want you to read anything. And it's like, who used to get there? Just a couple of black lines. And like, wait, who <laughs> Bro, fuck, man. Imagine the PR campaign you would fucking need for your university after that. Um, I had that, I've had that comment once. Like, I, I did a show and someone was like, didn't they kill Lee Rigby? And I'm like, no, that was, that was someone else, bro. They thought you... They, they commented that under my under my um, post of like a comedy <laughs> performance I've done. I'm like, no, I didn't. I'm <laughs> doing a comedy... Well, 
Like he's I'm on the Jonathan Ross comedy. Why would I now be out? I tell you what, what kind of programs do they thought. have? Imagine, imagine if the imagine if TV went that mad with diversity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know exactly. how pissed off I'd be if Lee Rigby's Gillers were on Jonathan Ross before I was? Oh, I'd watch that reality life. show like six weeks. <laughs> Big brother house, innit? Who would I first? <laughs> Bro, that is fucking. People on in comments and stuff are just fucking insane. They're savage. Because I get. Like, when, when am I, I have this weird Man's thing. turning his sauce around. I don't want this I promotion. I saw you looking at me. I was like, let go of the sauce. Let go of the sauce. Taking the stickers off. Yeah. yeah. No, we don't actually sell these, by the way. I mean, these are called fire stars. These are terrorist stars. Yeah. These are different sources. Yeah. Can I actually take a dip of that, though? Yeah, do you have a stick? All right, no, oh, oh, hold on. I don't want to give you that one. That one is for display. Mm -hmm. We have the... Uh, the bulk one here. Bro, what the <laughs> fuck? I don't know what that bulk one here. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Can you just can you just tell the, the listeners what he's just done? Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the this is the uh, this so how you're walking start. around with a fucking height. I'm not the, yeah, what the fuck? I, I asked to try so some of the sauce. If you if you are trying to sell hot sauce on That's a podcast, bottles, yeah. do not come home with a Highland Springs bottle what? of where you make the hot sauce. Give it to me out no. of that fucking thing. I never, no, what this, the fuck this is, is this? Excess. This is mine. This is mine. You what, what do you mean? Oh, right, you want me to try excess hot sauce in a Highland Spring water bottle, bro. I don't what? want you dipping into the bottle. I've never, I've never seen someone bring out hot sauce like they're whipping crack. <laughs> Mate, yeah, listen. I am this is spring, I'm yeah. Spring and why water. is all of this in your bag, bro? What's where you got? I'm a bad man, isn't it? I'm a hustler, Universal Credit. You know oh, this. Gosh. Um, all right, we'll do it from the bottle. We'll do it from the bottle. We're not from the Highland. Oh, because apparently there's something wrong with that. <laughs> I can't stand these fucking, uh, these fucking gentrified <laughs> dons here. I don't want to drink it. Yeah. You're about to call me <laughs> uppity. <laughs> <laughs> these uppity Negroes don't want <laughs> Samuel Jackson oh, Django Dons, yeah. Gosh. Sick of these, man, yeah. So tell me the flavors that I'm so, in, it's, it's, so the original heat that you're gonna feel inside is um Scotch bonnets, bird's eye chilies, okay, Carolina Reaper. It's uh, mixed with jam, mm -hmm. and there's like uh there's like a ketchup with it as well. So it's like ketchup jam. Just have a little lick. Just go for the whole thing. Make sure it touches your lip on your tongue as well, yeah. So you can feel the full burn, yeah. Is it is it mad hot? It's savage. So why why would you tell me to I told you to do it, bro. I don't care. Do you know what? That's 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 quite lovely. We finally nice. come. We finally come on those podcasts where we just. Yeah, we don't go at the end. You know what? Producer, you want some as well? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Do you have a stick for him? Do you have a little? Oh, that's. Uh, do I have a stick for him? Was that little wooden stick that you just had? I just had part of my. I haven't used this part. If do you, you want to like dip in there for me? That's really okay. nice. Yeah. It's really nice, and it's not that hot, bro. It's not that hot. It's, it's, it's got a kick to it. I got a bit of a hiccup. <laughs> there goes, yeah, standard. But I, I last week in, in front of Mike made such a big deal that I was going into a, a Nigerian food shop. I, did, right? <laughs> like, I, think oh. I made such a big like. <laughs> I was like, should we go there and get some food? And Mike was like, no, you I'm not, not, I'm not hungry. You, you sound no. like you're burning. No, it's, it's, it's like it's got like it's, it went in my throat, so I got a bit of hiccup. <laughs> we were in the Nigerian shop. The hiccup was standard. And Elliot was like, there's a nice. Uh, <laughs> You can really taste the Highland you know, Spring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot was doing well for the wax here. Oh, <laughs> Lucas, bro, that is, do you know what that's like? Yeah, it's like you've just <laughs> you've just him now. You, you, you brought, that, that's like the equivalent of do you know what I mean? Like just getting caught with it. Like you see someone doing a crime, and you're, you know when your race does something where you're like, don't do our stereotype. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Oh, don't do, do our stereotype. That? Yeah, oh, do you feel like you're tearing up, bro. No, 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 no. 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 Show this on camera. He's tearing Everyone's up. tearing up. Everyone's like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. But you look at them properly. That's tears. What would that's you? Not, what that's would, not twelve years of slave. What would tears. you? That's <laughs> chili hot <laughs> sauce. What tears. would you serve that with? What would you? Um, oh, so the best thing to do is like that's really good. You could have it with like a dipping sauce. So if you have like a cool sauce nearby, like a mayo or something like that, it'd be nice to have it together. Um, I've had it with like wings. I like to baste it onto my wings, mm. isn't it? And then dip my wings into a, like a cool ranch sauce. So it kind of like balances the heat. Where, where can our listeners sort of, if they want to So like, if you want to, if you want to find these out, um, you want to buy more of these, you want to buy one of these bottles. But these are the only things you've on. ever had to buy through Telegram, innit? <laughs> <laughs> no, I went different. I'll come to your house with my fiver. <laughs> like you had to go. Meet me on the corner, corner. meet me on the corner. I'm trying to bring by the old school shotting days, innit? So, <laughs> turns, up, turns up on an e scooter and spun you. You remember those little personal bags? In one swoop as well, doesn't it? Remember those little personal bags? Yeah, I bought it one there, minute. So I booze it. I booze it. Every bottle is booze. Buy me. No, joking. No, it's not booze. So you can you can find it on my Instagram page, Tasty Truth Food. So T A S T Y T R U T H Food. Uh, you send us a DM, um, and we and we will sort out uh, delivery and all that stuff for you. It's, it's five pound a bottle. If you ever see me around London, if you're you know if you ever see me about, give me a shout. I might have a bottle on me for you to try out, and we'll film you for five minutes. If you can handle it, then you get a pat on the back. If you mm. can't. 
great, isn't it? It's still public. And if you have a cup on you, he'll me. pour some from the Highland I'll Spring bottle. Yeah, into yeah. The... You guys talking shit about my Highland? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Keep talking shit. You wish there was water in there right now. I know I how you guys are looking at me. I'm yeah. fine. I'm, I enjoyed the hot sauce. I enjoyed that, man. You enjoyed that, though, yeah? You didn't look. You didn't have it properly, though. I know, but I'm not going to take the whole... No, it's meant to touch your lip and your tongue. Is it? That's the food. As if it's like on a wing or something. You're moving shook and that. There you go. That was that was very seductive. Probably, that was weird. That was really no, weird. I looked was, at it as well, so that was kind of weird. Yeah, 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 I feel like I know contact. you personally. Yeah, there's nothing worse in it than when you're like when your mates are eating like an ice cream collector around you and you're like, bro, this is too. This is, yeah, yeah, my yeah. man's right. looking at his and looks at you. Yeah. You look at him back, you're like, uh. You ever seen that toxic masculinity? Man can't eat ice cream, they have to break it off like it's peanuts. Yeah, 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 <laughs> that's all in that. Let's say you wank someone off. You wank someone off. Same thing. It's terrible. Yeah, man. I, but I get like um what what sorry, what made you get into all the uh, like so you, you've always the loved food. cooking. Yeah, so I've always I've always been about cooking. Cooking. Um, I've worked in uh, uh, like so after the retail stuff, I started doing the chef stuff. And I loved it, absolutely loved it. Yeah, I could watching people. What, like, um, can I ask you something? Because we both saw your flag and we like we don't know ever what country that. Ever oh, trained? Yeah. East oh, African. Oh, I'm ever yeah. trained. So we have a lot of spice in our culture, anyways. Um, but yeah, I just I'm someone that like the moment I've had a garden, yeah, I've done barbecues nonstop and mm. all my burdens come through to a point that I started catering for my people's birthdays yeah. for free. I'm like, you lot just chip in. And I'll make a load of food for oh, us. So we used to go to Brockle Park during lockdown. We had a big party in Lo- oh, Brockle yeah, Park. From, and that. You from South? Yeah, from Brixton originally. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah. no way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I do as many barbecues as possible. I like to bring all my, f- all my friends will come together around food and we'll have a wicked time. So I realised food and comedy, that's my two loves. Mm. Like, I literally love cooking for people, not for myself, for people. And I love making people laugh. Well, you got to combine those, bro. Yeah, no, no, I will. I'm definitely gonna do a. I'm definitely gonna do a, a, a show at well, some point where I'll be cooking. Where I'll make the food and then we'll, you know, we'll sell the food. You yeah, what's but... happening to Big Zoo? You know what I mean? He's got his own show. Wicked, yeah, Big Zoo, Big Eats. Yeah, yeah, I know some of these people. There's amazing stuff that he does. Um, with this, like, with this, with the, with the chili sauce, I think yeah, it's like watching people burn. Yeah, is very funny. Yeah, it's it funny. is. If you're not the one burning, I've I did this the other day and I, and I literally said to myself, why have I tried this? But yeah. I have to try it. But watching people burn is so funny. It is worth it so much yeah, that, like, I was like, I've got to make my own one. You know, yeah. what comedian out there has got a hot sauce anyways? Do you know what I'm saying? You can, no one, isn't it? So uh, like, Freddie right. has fat bastard hot sauce. Who's that? Who's Freddie? Uh, we, we need to eradicate Freddie. 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 <laughs> Freddie. <laughs> we need to get rid of Freddie. You remember the hell Freddie guy was, Freddie was, guy was a comic. I don't think he liked me very much either. We've got to kill Freddie for you. The, the only ever tweet I ever had was like a tweet from him being quite sarky about me. And I'm like, all right, What the fuck promoting him then? Hey, don't do it. He's Freddie. No Freddie. I was just jumping in. You brought someone in that don't like you to bring me down, bro. <laughs> it's my own hot sauce. <laughs> this, why do you do that? I don't know, I'm joking though. We're talking about Fred again, again, again. We're talking about that Fred, not the other fucking Fred. He played um, Brixton the other night. Yeah, some he guy did, jumped in, just jumped in, uh, try, uh, crowd surfer just absolutely took a bird out. Like, just jumped in some <laughs> like. But he jumped no, in. No, no, some fat lad in Brixton. Oh, like, nice. uh, you go at the electric, jumped in, tried to crowd surf. Brixton, would you like, because I love Brixton. I, love Brixton. I, I, love... I loved Brixton. Oh, you loved it. You... I loved Brixton. Yeah, yeah. I loved what I loved everything that it had before the culture, oh, like okay. before this before this gentrification, insane insanity. Like you know, Brixton Market, yeah. Village, and that all those Buying places incense, that used to have station. market. You used to actually be a fruit market or mm. fish market. Now you go there, and it's freezing cold during the daytime because of what they're doing. Honda Honda Enterprise, the people that are running most of Brixton now, like what they do is they turn off the heat in during the daytime for the market people. Oh. And at night, when these new people come in and have the restaurants, heat ends up again. Oh. Yeah. But the people oh. during the daytime are paying the same rent as the people at night time. So it's like, you're doing them dirty, bro. You know, I can't be in, I don't like, like I used to love Brixton. I used to find it's like a, such a beautiful area. I'm gonna grow up there. Now I go there, I feel like, I feel a lot of pressure from police and that. You know, like just being watched and they like, dude, I'm not even that aged no more. Yeah, like, it, in my it, 30s, like, I'm still yeah. going through this it's, shit. Like, it's still a bit gnarly though, Brixton, because like my, my the shootout. I mean, yeah, but, it, yeah. My outside. missus and her, my missus and her mates like they they all from countryside. Yeah, yeah. Stuff moved there, so like they're like, oh, Brixton's great. And I'm like, when I was growing up, I went to school in West Norwood, didn't it? Yeah. It was like, don't go, don't go Brixton, don't go Peckham. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That, that, yeah. I don't go to Tottenham, man. Do you? Do, Tottenham, yeah, but we, I was south, so it yeah. was. I never, yeah, yeah. I never ventured up. Mm. Why the fuck are you getting on the Victoria line? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, but now it's still got a little bit because like, if you walk out, God knows, I walk out Brixton Station later. Fuck knows what I'm gonna be met with. Yeah. Knees. Go, yeah, knees. Guys making hot and incense. Knees and incense. Guys burning sage. Some person there screaming like, but the preachers don't even bother to like look. At, they stand in the middle yeah, of the road in cardboard the and they're just shouting. I don't that's even think that's my mum. My mum probably yeah. one of those more that, crazy I don't even people. know if the stuff is about what's in the Bible. Nah, it's like not, it's, it's not. just crazy. It's demonic. Yeah, their promotion is off. It's, it's just you're going to hell
do that as I'm banging my yeah. but, <laughs> messing up my high. But then, yeah, there's also like uh, when you go walk around there now, or you you see the people that live around there now. It is it is weird that like a lot of it's like, oh my god, yeah. So yeah, and it's and when and they, they when, say they're from Brixton, no, nah, but they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. But people they're they're don't think it's funny though. Like in a way. It's like a smaller version of like like that thing we talked about earlier, like people being racist and stuff, right? You've got a smaller version of that. Like whenever people move to your area, regardless of what your area was, whatever way it changes, because you can fucking make a good argument for gentrification. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like it's finally uh, places in London are a bit safer. There, there are issues with it, like the rent prices yeah. and the things like that are fucking people over. Yeah. But people like a coffee. You know, people like the things like that that come to an area. People it's fucking like your the argument. coffee. They like a coffee, but well, they want coffee. I, I, you can get coffee from no, uh, from refill. I want, it might take an hour, but you can get it. No, but refill, but refill, <laughs> refill, refill well. will survive <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything. Will, like, will. Like, survive like refill will survive nice. everything. It's survive good, nice. Good. Poor people right. deserve nice things too, but yeah. it's, they didn't make it for the poor people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For us, yeah. Yeah. for us, when you're walking through the market and you're that's your market, that's your life. Like you've been there. And now you're walking through at seven o'clock. Let's say seven o'clock. You can buy a Gucci evening. bag for seven pounds. No, and I mean, you got these people in these new cafes that are looking at you like you're a criminal, bro. Like yeah, you ain't supposed yeah. to be but here. Then, like, what are you like, doing? No, what are you doing? Give me my bananas, man. Yeah, yeah. But, but would, do you not think like uh, like there's that thing now? Because I. Uh, I have it with crew, where I grew up. I, well, I live in Fulton Heath, innit? So no one's gentrifying there anytime soon. But the Crystal Palace up the road is now sick. But I remember when Crystal Palace was quite gnarly. Like, yeah. it was like... Mm. I mean, I remember... No, I, I haven't been there for a while, but you're saying this... It, do you mean safer or do you mean like... Bro, Palace, Palace is bougie. It's got, it got voted the nicest place to live in the UK. It's bougie. Wow, you go, up, you go to a pub in Palace now, you're paying £6.50 a pint. Every There's all the cafes, all the coffee places, it's the triangle, all of that. And... But you've got that thing where, regardless of what it is, whenever someone moves to your area, you're like, fuck what they're doing. Regardless of like, so you imagine it was probably the same back in the 60s and 70s for people who lived in Brixton. And then all of a sudden you have like a Windrush generation coming. Regardless of that, they're like, well, fuck the area's changing, fuck mm. them. And then it's just funny that years later, it's like reversed yeah. where yeah. people were like, who are these white people coming to the area? Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. them. Yeah. Like, it's it just funny how it just constantly... It just, but at least when black people moved in, the prices went down. Do you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> the only reason why you want to move there, <laughs> the only reason why you want to move to Brixton, listen, the only reason why you want to move to Brixton is because black people made it cool. Yeah, yeah. Or like, yes. or like the people within, not even just black people, the people within that community made it cool. Yeah. You know, we had this whole community. You know, yeah, there was violence, but that's what happens when you're living, you know, within poverty. There's going to be violence, but and and plus, made it violent, the yeah. violent, the violence isn't, the violence isn't like. It's not like we created the violence. The violence is because of our situations, right? And people are just like, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that because we don't know what to do, whatever. With that being the case, the area itself, Brixton being beautiful and being mm. this community and everyone wanting to go there, it's because of people that live in it. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, then when yeah. you move us out of Brixton now, mm. Brixton ain't Brixton no more. It's now another, it's like Clapham now. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Clapham. It'll be like them, them nightclubs that are playing black music, but... But like it is only not. letting five black people yeah. in. Tiger, like, Tiger well, in other places. You, you know, know what I mean? Yeah. Tiger, Tiger in that. But then do, you, do you not make the argument? Because like, I'm absolutely that happens and clubs have those door policies and that. But the same way there, when I see like Lucas coughing on a hot sauce, and mm. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, man. Like, don't. <laughs> no, you can't do us like this. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. like do, you, do you not have the same thing where you kind of like, sometimes you'll like listen to like a doorman or someone speak and I'll go, well, the problem is, is when we had like, there would be a group of like road men who come into the club who and were from like, there, they were gangs. black lads. And, yeah, now, yeah. and now I just, for, the, for my own peace of mind, have to create a, uh, a rule set. And you have these prejudices that start because several dickheads from a community. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, same as me as in the, like, It's in, not based on nothing. Yeah. Something obviously has happened yeah. in yeah. the past. The, but it's like, the, the policy now is too... Well, we just can't let any of them. Yeah, in. but it's because you're a terrible security guard. That's mm. why trouble has come in. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? You now you saying, oh, you can't come in because of your race. Mm. You're yeah, a yeah, terrible. Yeah. You're a terrible. It's security not even guard. The security guards are following like from the whatever their bosses are. And the bosses are following from whatever council. Yeah, but I've I've seen I've seen I've seen bouncers like make their own decision and be like, no, you can't come in because of your race or whatever. And you're just like, you're a terrible security yeah, guard. Yeah, you yeah, think yeah, about yeah. it. I've seen I've asked security guards. I know a few of them, and I've I've said to them, what happens when someone comes and they got a gun on them? Because that's happened a few times, right? Mm. Like someone will come in, try and come in the club with a gun in them, yeah? And I'm like, what do you do? And some bouncers I've spoken to have said, you know what? I'll tell them, be polite. you got to be polite, innit? Because you can't do that gangster attitude with a man that's got a gun. you got to be polite and be like, so you can't... Ha like, as if they don't know. Yeah. Like, so you can't bring that in here, yeah. you yeah, know? Yeah. It's like smoking on buses, you can't do it. Yeah. Yeah, but that's yeah, fine, yeah. you probably didn't know. Yeah. You, you know, you try and be polite. And then there's other skin guys like, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing, I'm letting him in. Yeah. So now, like, now that venue's getting shot up, yeah? Because your security guards are dog shit. 
You have dog shit security. But then that's that's why a venue will then go like say the guy do that is that's why the venue will, will might go like secretly to a security guard like fuck it, dude. We got. To, do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. the same, and actually I use is like. As an England football fan, whenever I see English football fans start <laughs> launching deck chairs at French families, I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? Like, that's, I'm now in that category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because I'll, I'll, I'll sing 10 German bombers if I'm getting fucked up at the pub yeah, watching yeah. an England game. I'm that kind of England football. But I don't really mean it. I'm doing it for the laugh. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I, I get it. I engage with that part of the culture. But then when I see, like, people, like, destroying a car or doing something, I'm like, <laughs> why? Why are you like this? Mm. Do you know what mm. I mean? You fuck it up for the rest yeah. of us. Mm. And do, you make us that, like, do you think white violence is seen as different from black violence? No, but I, I'll, tell you why, I'll tell you why it's not, yeah, because um, you look at what happened with the Moroccans in Denmark <coughs> and what everyone happened? where Morocco beat Denmark and then Moroccans who lived in Denmark took the street and a few of them started smashing things up and mm. celebrating. And everyone was like, this is unacceptable. And a few people were like, well, I don't think there's anything more cult enjoying a culture than smashing up a European city that is, you know, and they start making all these colonizer jokes and stuff. And I'm like, you're allowed to say they're cunts. Yeah, you're yeah. allowed to say that, especially if you move to another country, you should Followed, you know, we just had this with the whole World Cup. Like, there's been that argument back and forth between the West and the Arab world of like respecting the culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go respect the culture of a place you're in. The same way when England fans go to another place and smash the city up, I, as an English person, will go, "That's fucking disgusting." Yeah. And we do it. And I, I think it gets reported on, but I just think everyone, it's the, it's, it's the re, it's, if you just make it back of like, well, what is racist? Us, everyone's kind of supporting the team that they're on, right? So whenever one side does one thing it's like football in it like you're always going to pick up those fans and go look that's that's what the, that side's like mm -hmm. that's what that side does i'm not saying we do this but i'm saying like the discourse in general does it because that's what that side's like we're not like that and then like a video of your side comes up doing it and you're like no but that's different because yeah. our side is you know and that's and i think you see that now like when in places like brixton and stuff a lot of the people mo who move there i think feel guilty about like the issues you're saying about about like pushing people out and yeah. stuff, but not guilty enough to not do it. Yeah, yeah. So they then they then feel they've got to go harder on the yeah. on, on the, the, on the, the discourse on the, on the discourse and all these things like that. So it's like you've moved black people out of the area, but you're gonna put BLM in your window. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah or in their bio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. like what black lives? What, what like, do their black lives not matter? Like, yeah. dude, what what are you on about? You know yeah, what I mean? Trying to apologize, yeah, yeah. trying to apologize without really apologizing. Yeah, you but know then what I'm but then what you're saying is in the in a pub or a bar or something. The minute you put a few drinks in some of these people, yeah, their racism works in a different way. Yeah. like I, like this whole like thing where, where you know racism like that one guy in that comment you're talking about to me it seems like that's not the majority of racists anymore the majority of racists is a vibe or a feeling yeah. it's like a like you're saying like looking like you don't belong here yeah. you know what i mean shift but not not doing enough to be caught out mm. like we're, we're getting good at it white people our racism's <laughs> evolving isn't it sly. We're, yeah, we're, sly. We're, we're evolving <laughs> And then, and you get these things that go on and all uh, say you get all this stuff that goes on now and I feel what annoys me most is people who move to London don't have any black friends or haven't grown up not just with people in London haven't grown up around community yeah. in general and then they come in and why it annoys me is because they come to comedy shows watch someone like my or any of our sets and be like I just yeah. have a few issues and you're like fuck off shut the <laughs> hell up I'm yeah. joking like have you guys had that recently. Did you have that? You uh, in terms of, of what, what specifically? You just had that? Someone thinking that they can speak. Bro, to I got, I got, I got a message uh, on the weekend of someone about uh, a bit. I don't want to joke about it too much because that person like. About, about, about this. I'm not laughing. You're making me want to laugh. Don't laugh. I'm not laughing. This, uh, this, I don't know what you're talking about. about oh, brother, I have this bit about suicide in it, and like every now and then I get a message of someone like being like. Yeah, man, I've gone through that. I've gone wanting to do it, bro. Speak, speak on it. No, 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 cool. no, no, no. I don't. I, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying I, I'm sensitive. I, I, I would love to hear I, it. I don't, when people message me about jokes, yeah, if they start off with like, fuck you, this is disgraceful, da da da, that doesn't get to me. I yeah. find it funny. But every now and then someone messages me with like a personal story and I'm there and I'm like, yeah, I can't really be like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then in my head, the way I rationalize it is I'm like, you sat there through all the other shit that I told. Yeah. Was absolutely fine with it. And then until an issue affected you, you had a problem with it, which is fine. Mm. You're allowed to have issue with it, but. You know, Shut the hell, I'm not in this place. Not yeah, this, yeah. Ain't, this, ain't, this is comedy, like, yeah. you're listening to my pain. Us comedians, we go through madnesses, right? We all have our own madnesses, yeah. And we go on stage and we kind of like we share our madnesses mm. essentially. It's like therapy for us, isn't it? Really, so for you to then tell me my truth, how dare you, like, for yeah. you to tell me how I should feel, how I should think, 
Yeah. It's so cheeky. It's like, mad. You can't say that. Well, hold on. I've experienced suicidal thoughts. Yeah, so yeah. actually, I can say that. Yeah. Mm. So how are you to tell me what I should feel? Yeah, like, yeah. you're privileged. You're privileged life. I don't tell you how to suck dick. I don't tell you those things. Right? You do you, and I'll do me. And I'll, and, I, and what I get paid to do, which is come on stage. Can we, can we rewind on it? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm, 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 I'm so angry, bro. I'm so angry. I'm so sorry. Okay, once again, I'm, I'm with you, but then you say something. I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm really that, angry. Oh, I get angry. Uh, I get angry when people tell me, or like, my name is Abs the Truth, yeah. which means my truth. Mm. What I'm going to tell you is my truth, is how mm. I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you, I've had people tell me, you can't say that. Well, who the fuck are you? I can't. You ain't live man's life and that. Yeah. You know the madnesses I've gone through. Take it back to what you said. I, I actually tried to end my life last year. I tried oh, it. Shit. I did actually. I, I was so depressed. No one, only my close people would know that. So if I then decided to make a joke about suicide, who are you to tell me, like, yeah. can you, you can't say that. Shut your mouth, fam. Like, whatever we, as comedians, we're like, we're lucky to be able to see life in our own. Mm. Like, we get to see it in a crazy way. Each of us have this own, like, uh, perception of life in it and how we see life. So when we go on stage, we're, we're very unique. When we mm. go on stage and we tell a story, it's a unique story. Yeah. That only you might, it made sense to you. Do you know what I'm saying? You want to share it. So for someone to then be like, oh, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, shut, like, you're so close-minded, man. Yeah. Shut the hell up, like. Shut your mouth. Just be quiet. If you don't get it, don't laugh. Yeah, shut yeah. Because there'll be another joke around the corner and you might get that one. Might, or there'll be another saying, comedian like, and you, think you might people get... people came to see you <laughs> yeah. talk and say, I don't get this. Shut your mouth, man. Do, yeah. do you feel like what you're saying about there, yeah? Because I have this thing in a minute, like, kind of i don't quite know where my place in the industry is doing what i do because like you want to make it you want to like get all the things like you kind of want to be on like because you, you talk raw shit yeah, right yeah. like yeah you know what i mean you then don't want to fucking end up on some like it feels like some itv2 show where you're stuck there and like you're just saying what you're saying and then you gotta be like anyway scarlet moffat what <laughs> that, like you know what i mean you're there like, I, I feel, do the cha-cha slide like if you if, if you ever see a video of me doing a TikTok dance, yeah, uh, never, bro, no, you, never. You come in here, you got to come in here. You, you got to like Joe Pesci me in it, like in Goodfellas. <laughs> you're you, you're telling me, you're telling me, yeah, that you're, ah, uh, uh, Elliot. You know what? Live at the Apollo. It's just in here. Yeah. I'm gonna open up the gate. <laughs> open up the door. It's just a garage. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> like Lenny in that. What's yeah, that book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Through the head. Yeah. So it's a closed cast funeral. <laughs> like there's no Joe I, Pesci I, me. I look at I look at it like Jamali Maddox is a prime example. I think for people that are outspoken, Jamali Maddox yeah, yeah. is a great example for. I love it. Very he is funny, right? He's very creative. He speaks to his truth. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And he does like a lot of journalistic stuff with like Vice and whatever. Um, but we see with him, you see where he's going. He's kind of creating his own paths. Yeah. Because yeah. he's fully aware that his comedy might not get him live at the point. Do you know what's like? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? about Jamali, like, because he's our friend. I don't. Oh, you guys know him as well, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, well, really I, tell him, but I think he's like one of the most underrated. He's not even underrated. Any, he's not underrated, no, no, but his not, path is just so. It's, it's, he understands. Yeah. He understands what he says is gonna get him a unique path. Mm. I think that's what he gets. It like he knows his jokes ain't for any Dick and Harry. Mm. It's not for everyone. Mm. It's, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. what we do. What is very unique. Mm. It's like man just gonna say. Comedian, I'm gonna, like, yeah, 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 I'm gonna yeah. say it how it is. Like you know, Guz Khan, then man. I'm gonna say it how it is. I'm gonna speak my truth. And whoever likes me is gonna roll with me. Yeah, and that's what is a German man. There's people that roll with him. I think that about because I don't, I don't know guys at all, win it. Like, and I, I, I like him as like yeah, an actor, yeah, yeah. comic and stuff. But then I saw him start going for True Geordie when True Geordie said a joke that was Islamophobic, and I was just like, oh, bro, you're playing with fire there as a uh, comedian. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because I, it, he's done a joke that you don't like. Yeah. But that now means you've been caught being upset at a joke yeah, yeah. and that, that like as a comic is like bro that, that's like when you see those mad liberal people they always get taken down because there's always a tweet there's always a thing that they've yeah, done where, a, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean because always... if you cultivate an audience where it's like I'm cultivating it based on we get offended at stuff well then yeah, yeah. How far, this, soon enough they're going to turn on there, you there's a, there's a comic out there yeah who uh, they, they, they had to take it down who did roast battles uh, uh, like a rap battle I won't say who it was because I, I don't think it would be fair that they got taken down because they were fucking wicked at it who took down another comedian at a rap battle like destroyed this other comic at a rap battle yeah who is now like the one of those like social justice warrior people and you're like you best hope <laughs> you best hope that video does not come up yeah. because it you, you, what you did was fine and good and artistically is amazing, but some of the people in your crowd, yeah, and not gonna, ooh, they're, they're not gonna firstly, you, you're doing like uh, rap battles already feels weirdly cultural appropriation. <laughs> like, 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 yeah, not, yeah, it was white, they were white, they were white, but like, as a white person, whenever you do a rap battle and it's all like 
Yeah, 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 a little bit like, all right, all right, all right, let's, let's calm down here. And then there's, um, do you know what I mean? It's like, I'd never do Don't Hate the Players because I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> what's, what's, that was on ITV2. What's that, like a clash? A roast uh, or something? Don't, no, even, it's don't like Hate the, the Players. Uh, game that. show slash roast slash your rapping yeah. slash, it's just like. It's all like Lady Leisha. Uh, Lady Leisha, yeah, Maya yeah. Jammer's on there. And it's oh, just like. And the guy from Rizzle Kicks. Right, for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. He's, always, he's always on that. He's just about, man. Rizzle Kicks had one big summer. Do you remember that summer? Uh, his country was in the clutches of Rizzo. Down with the trumpets. I remember. No, no. I remember. I TV2 had let go of him. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like a, a English a sportsman that's not done really well, but has got loads of these jobs. I, like, he's like Jermaine Genus. Like, like, why are you on everything, bro? What did you win? Why are you... Man's doing the World Cup final. Come and say, how? How, Jermaine? <laughs> how have you got this? <laughs> Dan, Danny, Danny, Danny Murphy. Murphy. Yeah. 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 How many caps is zero? Yeah. Yeah. And, and they'll do the stats, FA Cup quarter finalists. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Let's sat there with Thierry and Ray. But that's the great thing about being British. There's always a chance for you. Right. There's always a chance for you. Bro, that, that, that don't play, hate the players in the show. Whenever I've watched it, yeah, I, I swear to God, if I was on it, I'd be walking out like, my agents get Because you've got to do like a walk out. Everyone yeah. just like a style. Like, what would your walk be? Oh, my my walk got... would just be a little shuffle. <laughs> and I'd, I'd be sat there just. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, as well. But the minute they're I'm not. I get shy. Um, so I'm just like, nah. I'm get up there and out. have to do a rap song. I'll be like, don't make nah, me. The do. thing about Don't Hate the Players, all the producers on there are like white and middle class. So the whole show just feels uncomfortable. Yeah. Like an idea of blackness. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But controlled like, by or being like, you know. That, that, show, yeah, yeah. that show is never getting cancelled. Nah, you nah, know, because nah. you know the minute they go, hey, that the, view, the, view that the, the, the minute the figures, the viewing figures are down, they don't want to see <laughs> black people. And you're like, you're like no, 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 the no, reason no, they no, keep no, it, no. you know, when our TV do, this is what we got coming up this summer. They can just show flashes of colour yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the trailer. Man. That's the only reason they keep that show. Yeah, no, ITV Two is not really a channel that you look for for exciting new things, anyway. Yeah. Like, as soon as you find the guy we runs. If it weren't for that, other than the two light skinned people on Love Island every year, man, they'd have no diversity. No, no, no. No, ITV2, no. Bro, they had that show, Celebrity Juice, for years. And I, as far oh. as I can tell, oh my gosh. as far as I can tell, the joke was one guy, the main guy was from the North. Yeah. That yeah, was that, that was it. That was it. And he, was a creep. And he was a mad creep as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a mad creep. Bro, did he you was like, grab some random woman's titties, and fern titties. And went, ah, did you ever watch? I, I, when I was a kid, Bo Selector was out. My parents wouldn't let yeah, me watch it, yeah? yeah? I went back and watched it years ago, and I was like, this feels very racist. Yeah. Like, this feels very... And, like, that little britain kind of... But at least Little Britain had its moment yeah, of Yeah, I thought Little Britain was all right. I didn't really think... Compared to Bo Selector, Bo Selector was hardcore, like... Craig David, Twitter, said he got Craig suicidal, David, man. Like, yeah. all of those. He Craig was... Davis and he was always done, like, a big lip... Big yeah. chin, big cheek, big nose. You always had that. Like. I think the reason they got away with it though is because it weren't blackface. It was like black prosthetic. Sp- yeah, yeah, yeah. Technicality. Yeah. It, yeah. it was. It was a character. It was yeah. actually like a celebrity. Yeah, if it was, a, if weird. he was taking piss out of random black people, I think it was. To, a bit more to be fair, but that's the thing. Like spitting image faced this problem in it when spitting image was coming back, right? And now, like when spitting image first come out, one spitting image used to be brutal. If you ever watch old spitting image sketches, yeah. they were it like. What do you mean by spitting image? Spitting yeah. image is this show with puppets. It was a satire. Oh, and, okay, okay. and, and it was like back in the day, it was brutal. Like it yeah, was yeah. It went, like satire has to go for the jugular. You know what I mean? Oh, like, okay, it, okay. like even like, like you know like Ricky Gervais at the Golden Globes. Like regardless oh. of what you think of him as a comedian, you watch it and you're like, <laughs> you, you have to. If you're it gonna do hard. this, you got to do that. And Spitting Image used to do that. It come back now and it, it it's like got that problem where it's it's it, it can't be as brutal yeah. because of, of one of the times we're in and also back then like most politicians were white, mm. so it's fine to draw big ears and stuff like that but now they've got the issue of going oh shit we've got to do Barack Obama <laughs> like, and we've got to like all the politics vid- so so every puppet they bring out every time they bring out a puppet everyone's like it feels very racist yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it feels very racist yeah. and you go you know but I get so I guess like the answer to that would be well you need to make sure that everyone working on the show like you, that's when yeah. you need a diverse like, group of people on a if show. Gonna, if, like if, gonna, if it's like black people, let them all be black people behind the in the yes. background scenes. If yeah. it's like white people, you know, let it all be white. And then there's that black. thing of like, so you're just gonna get black people to do the black characters, yeah. And then you're gonna send or them home. Oh, we just do the entertainment. We you don't do behind the scenes. Yeah. Always dancing for so a dollar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. oh, that, that, that's what's funny. Like I remember there was a panel show, a picture of the casting uh, of the crew out years ago, and everyone was like, "Yep," and everyone on it was white. Yeah, like everyone there was a white person, and you go, "Well, that is." That is Saturday Night Live had that problem because when, when Obama was coming, obviously, like they had to, get, they had a white guy playing Obama, like he was like a bit light skinned white, but yeah. he's like white, 
and so they hired a black guy just to play Obama. And they were like, wait, so you just hired a black guy? It was it was within that fun. Black Lives Matter moment, wasn't yeah, it? When, yeah. when everyone was like, oh, I'm really sorry. I've been an Asian guy for 10 years, but uh, I'm going to step down and give an Asian guy his role. And then they'd be like, we're just going to get rid of the Asian yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, that we don't want to pay that, Asians. That, that <laughs> fucking, do, you remember, do you remember when Sainsbury's came out and was like, we're creating a room just for our black colleagues? And we're like, that's segregation, you guys <laughs> can't. What are you doing? We've Stay given you your own water room, fountain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, get a, you guys get a bus to work now, but you, you, you're not sitting in the front. You're not you get, at least the water fountain's Highland Springs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a real fresh, a fresh water. I know, we got to wrap up, actually. Man, abs, man. This, this is, is no, all-time all time, all all time favourite. All-time favourite. All time favourite. First yeah. of the year. First of the year. We've been presumptive. doing this since, like, March last year. Yeah, like, honestly. Nah, guys, thank you. That means honour, man. We're gonna, We're going to be... I think we're recording a couple more this week, as well as our Patreon ones, because I think we'll stick another in this week, because I'm in France next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll... Well, I, I've got an idea of who to ask to come in for that one. But Abs Man, you got you, like Thank buy the hot sauce. Me, where, where can people find you, bro? Um, yeah, on Instagram it's Abs Truth, A B S T R U T H. Um, YouTube is the same. TikTok is Abs the Truth. I'm not dancing on there; it's just all comedy. Um, and then, yeah, you want to find out about the chili sauce, you can find my Instagram. That's Tasty True Foods. Thank you so much, man. Man, thank you for coming in. Mike, you got uh, you got anything to, like, dates coming up and that where people could come? Um, next show is February 5th. It's quite a, lo- quite a long w- way away. Um, February 5th at the Rich Mix. Um, and I'm working on the special at the moment. So nice, that'll man. be out hopefully by summertime. Man, you're funny. You fucking come in and just certain certain... Yeah, it's so much like, fun. You know, you know when so you can hang fun. out with someone? Nah, you, know nah, you, you guys have been the vibe. You guys have been the vibe. Mike? Uh, anything to promote? <laughs> it's just, you got any sets? Uh, Brother, I'm just there looking at like thinking he's going for his stuff to promote. What have you guys on stuff. your phone? No, la- la- I'm getting my dates. Last year, uh, uh, last week, I asked if anyone was selling a car. Uh, <laughs> nobody's got back to me on that. Um, so again, same thing. Yeah. And also, uh, I might be doing some work in progress dates, top secret, just to get this new hour ready. Nice, might be man. going on tour, Ooh. second half of the year. So oh shit, we'll see, man. Uh, Leicester, February eighth, part of the Leicester Comedy Festival at the Big Difference. If tickets are started to sell, come to that. Then on March 23rd, I'll be at Vault Festival. And on March 9th, I'm doing my new show at the Pleasance as well. Jeez. And uh, I'm finding out about Edinburgh Fringe venues this week in an argument I'm going to have with my agent where they start with, yeah, let's make the show. And they go, have you thought about doing it? At the train station. <laughs> and then you know, <laughs> you've got to stand and be like, no, I don't think that suits me. And they're like, well, you know, that's what they're offering. That's the end of the <laughs> show for you. That's the only offer. That's, you're doing it at the train station. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, this is, uh, shout out to the Patreon. We've got loads of bonus content coming out this week. This will be out early for the Patreons, as well as extra episodes, as well as this week's extra episodes, because yeah, yeah. we're recording a couple. Any, any dilemmas you have, we're going to answer them on the Patreon. Yeah. So sign up and send in questions and whatnot. All right, much love, guys. Thank you. Thanks.